Good morning to you. This is the South African Morning. Now, the Western Cape has been aggressively working to mitigate the impact of power cuts. It recently launched electricity wheeling to support municipalities. It effectively means that independently generated electricity can be wheeled onto the grid. The power can then be used by municipalities to reduce a blackout. Let's find out more from the Western Cape Infrastructure MEC, Tasha Simmers. Very good morning to you. Great to have you on the SA Morning. There really has been so much talk around the Western Cape and Wheeling uh, in the recent past, especially with the case study that is currently underway uh, with some companies as well as consumers, so to speak. How is that rolling out? Have you found any glitches in the system? Because ultimately you're trying to see if this wheeling actually does work and to work out the mechanics of it. Hi, good morning, Tammy. Good morning to your viewers. Now, indeed, Tammy, yesterday our wheeling toolkit for local municipalities actually went live. We have been working behind the scenes for, for but more than 18 months. On the system, we have seen pilots being run in George, pilots being run in Overstrand. We recently also you follow the city of Cape Town's example. And what this wheeling kit effectively now does, it, and it went live yesterday uh, as well. So, you know, all municipalities and the office, officials can access this. It's clearly, you know, we are ready. The modeling has been done. It has shown that third party electricity wheeling can be implemented in a way that protects municipal revenue streams, which is ultimately the biggest, I believe, a concern for, for local government, but also in how we, we, we deal with that concern. I believe that has been mitigated. And, you know, the wheeling kit consists of various third-party uh, third wheeling guides. We assist through the wheeling the, uh, toolkit with uh, spreadsheets to see fair tariff structures being put in place for wheeling uh, in terms of distribution over municipal networks. And it also has standardized uh, templates for necessary agreements with third parties. So. All in all, this is to ensure that our local governments utilizing this toolkit into the future, and believe me, many of our local governments are preparing for this now and have been waiting for this moment, is to ensure that we protect uh, investor confidence across our, our province, and also to ensure that we ensure that we retain jobs and we build more jobs into the future because of energy surety into the future in the Western Cape through the, through the launch of this toolkit to assist our colleagues at local government level. It, it really does, from the sound of it, give you the A to Z of wheeling, um, the, the tariffs, as, as you've mentioned. You also spoke about ring fencing the revenue that the municipality gets from supplying, um, from supplying electricity. You say you've managed to, to mitigate this. How have you done that? Well, in terms of the, the various pilots that, that we did in George and in Overstrand in the city of Cape Town, uh, and also we had a look at the data sets uh, because in George we had real-time wheeling and wheeling tariffs uh, being monitored over the last 18 months. So a lot of lessons has been learned. But also in the Overstrand case study, hence, you know, before we let the system and the toolkit go live yesterday, all that modeling has now been factored into the template, into the, the, the fair structure, which we uh, provide in, in, in terms of spreadsheets to our local government. So, you know, this ensures that it's data back that our uh, municipalities and the third parties, even the consumers who generate electricity will have a full understanding of how it will work, how it can work, but above all, that the agreements they enter into with the municipalities as a standardized approach to ensure that there's an ease of doing business with government and there's ease of doing business in the Western Cape with your local authority. As far as consumers are concerned, I guess the one question that people want to know is, will they still be getting uh, this quote-unquote clean energy much cheaper than they would have been getting the energy if it were coming from, from ESCOM? But indeed, part of our modeling uh, and our, our, our work over the last 18 months has shown uh, in terms of the cost structure, in terms of the energy cliff, um, like you put it, you know, the cleaner energy, you know, all of that has been factored in being well aware that in terms of your, your more uh, uh, um, multinational corporations, which are already doing uh, energy generation for themselves to ensure that the business can continue, that this is all factored into the anomalies which we have put in place into the toolkit, but also in the costing structure, ultimately because we are committed in the Western Cape, also to lower our own carbon footprint into the future. At the moment, um, we, we spoke about the, the pilot project 
that's currently in place that's being done um, by, by, the, by the province, where there are eight producers, uh, 40 customers that are actually part of this pilot project. Now, ultimately, and as it stands now, it's private sector generating power, renting the grid from the municipality, and then dispersing um, that power to other private entities. If we look at that model, will there be a case as well where private entities are producing that power but then selling it to the municipalities as well? Now, oh, indeed, that is part of the toolkit and also why within the toolkit, you know, part of it speaks of the tariff structure uh, because, as I indicated, you know, just to ensure that we have energy security into the future, but not only, you know, corporates, but also private individuals that generate excess uh, energy through the use of solar PVs and other forms of alternative green energy at their disposal, that additional energy is then sold into the, the municipal grid in this instance by the fair tariff as well. Is there intentions for this toolkit to go outside of, of the Western Cape? Well, as the Western Cape, you know, we are part of South Africa. Everything that we, we learn, all the data that we have, we do, we do openly share with the rest of the country. Because as a province, we, we are here to provide hope for the rest of South Africa, showing that government at the provincial level and at local government level can work if we all work together in the interest of our, of our citizens. Hence, you know, you can actually go and have a look at the toolkit on www.westerncape.gov.za. There is a link to the wheeling component I'm just speaking of, and you can actually read through it. You can download the brochure and all other relevant links. So we are sharing this information to ensure that we provide further hope for the rest of South Africa. Well, we certainly look forward to seeing how this innovation actually rolls out. And if indeed, as municipalities, you'll be able to provide power you know, to the various communities, but also be able to ring fence and secure you know, your own sustainability uh, financially, because ultimately it is money that you need in order to run. So thank you so much for your time this morning.